respected Bunaki Mishraji, who is MP Lok Sabha from Puri constituency where this finale is going to take place. But for MP and OTIA 2020, or OTIA, the organization, Mr. Pinaki Mishra is not just an MP, not just a member of parliament, but he is a great guide, a visionary, and I identify him as more as a, an art collector, and a person who understands art rather than a politician who just fights it out either in his constituency or in the Lok Sabha. Shabana Azmiji, definitely she is a great actress, but I identify her as a great activist. So, today we are all here to hear something about activism, art activism. And Prabhagar Kolteji, as you know, maybe he was reminding me of 70s. He was talking about union, to make union in amongst artists. Like, so it is something, a very sublime thought, but something very impossible. Because if you are working in a factory, it is very easy to have a union. Because you are working in a certain conditions or within certain conditions and you are suffering or you are uh, taking advantage of certain situations. So it is always possible for the leaders to come and form a union. But look at artists. Each artist is an island. Is an island. Each artist is a utopia of humongous ego. Each artist is a wonderful creature that thinks that there is no other creature like that in this world. Absolutely unique. So, even if union is possible among the film workers, film stars, models, but it is very difficult to get artists into a union. But Prabhagar Kolteji is such a dynamic spirit and I am sure that if not today, you never know that one day, there will be a day that artists also have some kind of a union. Lilitha Lajbinji, I know that uh, she came to the Grajpur when I was there and it was so touching a feeling, a touching an experience for me because uh, she, she didn't have uh, some kind of, uh, you know, real proper health at that time. But she just walked to all the hill caves, like Khandagiri caves, like Chudish Ole took us there. And she was very excited because even at this age, even at this young age, she keeps such a good spirit, such a young spirit, so that she could imbibe not only the traditions of art, traditional art, but also the contemporary feel of art. Rajendra Party, as you know, there is one more party in the city, so he would like to know as Pa Ra. Party Rajendra. So he always insists that I should be known as Pa Ra. It's good that there should be, when two people have the same name, there should be some kind of a distinction which should be qualitative, I should feel, I should say. He has been inspiring youngsters, he has been curating shows, and I'm very happy that he's our mental director, and definitely the person behind this scene, and he is energy, he is the light, that is Shashank Mahapatra. I came to know and I came in contact with the Shashank Mahabhatra just a year back. But suddenly, you know, it is very difficult as I am also belonging to, as I also belong to the artist community, I am also very heavily ego ridden. And to accept another brother is very difficult. But I would accept Shashank as my brother, an artistic brother. He deals with a lot of social, uh, you know, issues and uh, he is an educationist himself. But 
I, I found how easily he could actually transfer himself into the into the mold of an artist and an art 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 uh, you know uh, organist. So I am in that crowd, and definitely I have all these friends. Most of them, most of them I know in uh, but know by name, and they are all here, just waiting this good year to happen. But before I enter, I just to take two minutes from you. Pinagi ji talked about the greatness of Mumbai. Prabhakar Kote ji, Subhan Azmi ji, Lalita Lajmi, everyone speak of, uh, speaks of the greatness of Mumbai. How great a city it is or it has always been. And it has been actually supporting and uh, celebrating artists. And we have the same names, Suza, Raza, Huzain, the same names. 2008. On that fateful day, on 26-11, there was a huge attack. I need not explain what happened. Somehow, I was also in Bombay at that day, not in this side where the attacks happened, but far away, in another place called Borivali. So, the next day, the very, the very next day and many days after, I have been looking at the newspapers, Times of India, all the newspapers, I was looking for one comment from an artist. One comment from, a, from an artist. What he or she felt because that city, that their city was vandalized, attacked. Artists were talking in their studios, in their, within their families, but not a single journalist cared to ask a question, how did they feel? What does that mean? Or what did that mean? It meant only one, only one thing, that art didn't matter. Artists didn't matter. When there is a deluge in Mumbai, when the streets are, street, streets are full of water, covered with water, if Amida Bachchan and his family are caught, then that is the national news. But if an artist is suffering, his studio is flooded, all his valuable works are lost, it never makes into the, uh, into the news. So there is something, there is something wrong with our art scene. So I believe when Mahatma Gandhi in 1930, when he decided to take up this Gandhi march, he took salt as his major, as his metaphor. Why? Because there is a pinch of salt in everybody's life. Tata Steel advertised there is a bit of steel in everybody's life. But it is very difficult to say with that kind of conviction that there is a pinch of art in everybody's life. Perhaps the postmodern freedom tells us or gives us this freedom that to say that we are our artists. Osho Rajneesh once said, you could be an artist provided if you are sweeping with artist, if you are sweeping the floor with artistic bend, then you are an artist. Postmodern theorists, including Frederick Jameson, they all say that anything could be art, anything could be turned into an artist. You have heard this artist name called Joseph Boyus. Even peeling the potato could be an art form. But somehow, when we use this term, quote-unquote art, suddenly we are scared. We always think that art is for somebody else who are sort of, you know, elite, or who could just go into a gallery, who could actually participate in programs like this. But let me tell you, when, pro when programs like the Tinalis and the Tinalis take place, the whole idea changes. I will give you a small example. Even if I was debating the idea of Kochi Muslims Biennale, many of you know that, like how vehement a critic I, I have been about that. When this thing happened, it's slightly funny also. The average Malayali auto driver, you know, Kerala has union. You can, you know, you may be shifting your house, you have a truckload of things. You yourself can bring it down and uh, you know put it in your new home. 
but the money should be paid to the laborers union you know so nobody knew what this particular word installation installation because kmp was projecting this word installation 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 so people didn't know so when actually installations happened the kmp inaugur was inaugurated people went there and they saw some some kind of heaps of metals or this or that some kind of rubbish uh, heap somewhere and and, and title that this is an installation by so and so you know the kerala people as it was hugely advertised and hugely discussed in the mainstream newspapers and the television programs kerala people started saying that any dustbin is a, an installation or somebody go to the dustbin or the the public the malwa wo, wo dalta hai udhar ja ke ye board lagate hain ye installation nahi hai this is not an installation it's quite food body like we know that uh, rene magret painted that this is not a pipe pipe you know so then you know the malayalis are famous for their tipping habit drinking habit they go to the bar and say that uh, one small installation or one large installation or double or ins uh, installation with the tonic hmm? a highly cold install installation so you know something slowly slowly the jokes joke uh, gave away and the seriousness came in what i'm trying to say is that when a new project at rianale or binale something like this, this happens a set of new words come into parlance a set of new ideas come into our daily practice a set of new ideas actually start influencing us then we started talking about us about it thinking about it as you know that our country is passing through a very very interesting political phase and uh, till yesterday if to n to n people were hugging in kerala some political activists used to go and beat them up they were in kerala also has a very dirty marinda in gochi you know they used to get you just they used to get caned but hugging has become a national very dignified national practice till since yesterday you know what i'm talking about so anyway a new parlance a new way of uh you know doing things come into the society that actually grabs by uh, grabs our imagination by force and make us think about a new society so any trial or any bhayanal or any such art projects actually helps us think different it helps us to imagine differently it helps us to envision a new society where people are not confined by limited ideologies bigotry and arrogance violence and discrimination so art as i say that if there is a little bit of art in everybody as we have already heard from the dignitaries here orissa is a wonderful city wonderful state with a lot of traditional and contemporary art forms and when this what year 2020 would take place there will be a sea change and we are planning this what year 2020 to be 2020 to be integrated with other art projects projects happening elsewhere now with that i just conclude that this is my imagination that there will be a future society which would consider man as man woman as woman queer as queer that will that society will not be discriminated discriminated and that is possible only through art and trinale is one way of doing it you may ask questions because when i was sitting there i heard that like why there is ot year 20 2018 and ot year 2020 so they are asking like is there a discrepancy in you know in in having these two projects or one project so i would just simply explain that we are going to have a launch program launch program of odia trinale odisha trinale of international art in december january 2018 19 and we are going to have the full fledged trina in 2020 so we get enough time and space to work on projects and also we get enough time to visit the artists in the studios 
and get good works and good projects. One more thing I want to tell you, that tell you that uh, this is something slightly different, slightly different in this sense that Odia is going to be a decentralized project. Definitely in 2020, it is going to happen in between Puri, Konark and Ori, uh, on Bhuvaneshwar, the three holy cities of Odisha. But throughout these two years, we are going to have decentralized projects in different different states so that Odisha Trinale goes to other states to spread its wings rather than to get everyone there and decentralize. We are for decentralization and definitely the central hub will be in 2020 in Odisha itself. If you have any questions, I can just answer. Otherwise, I say thank you. Uh, I would like to introduce one more person, <coughs> Chidish Das. Please come. Chidish is a young artist from Odisha and he is going to be the chief program coordinator and uh, my right hand. So, Chidis, looking forward. Thank you. And we have Bilendra Pani, a young contemporary artist from Odisha here. Uh, I don't know if there any other Odisha artists here. Anyway. Thank you very much. Okay. That is uh, Bilendra Pani. Thank you. Thank you for coming. Thank you. So, Johnny, I guess uh, uh, your, your speech is quite motivating. And, uh, but I've always had this kind of love for you, so I've kind of handed this. Can, can you hear now? Yeah. Hi. Can you hear now? Yeah. So, thanks a lot for your speech. I've always had a kind of appreciation for the handicrafts that are happening in Odisha. And uh, would, in your channel, would you extinguish the need to actually have logistics, you know, bringing artworks from around the world, from artist studios in North, or South, or East of India? And would you engage the handicraft people in the handicrafts, artisans, to actually produce the artworks alongside the artists, so that there's a kind of paying back into the system that the artists are benefiting out of. Thank you so much for asking for that question. Uh, I, 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 what I understood is like uh, uh, you asked me whether we are incorporating, uh, integrating the tra folk and traditional artists from uh, not only from Odisha, elsewhere into this project. Yeah, okay, like that, okay. Uh, yeah, uh, actually this, this has been uh, in process, it's an ongoing process especially in Raghurajpur, uh, Shashank uh, and his team uh, has been doing it for quite some time, bringing uh, contemporary artists from not only from India and also from abroad. And they spent more, uh, around two months there and they produced works. But till, till date, uh, Odisha didn't have the enough infrastructure to you know, showcase them. Uh, so definitely I am looking forward to like, bring them together and also commissioning artists uh, now, uh, now at present to go there, work with them, you know, yeah, definitely. Mm -hmm. and, and, and besides, as you know, like archiving and documenting, you know, publication, this, uh, he has agreed. <laughs> uh, I think like uh, here, uh, we need to, you know, like honor Shabana Asmiji, so I handle the mic. Yeah. 